Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, as you saw from the title, Global is going to be getting a pretty significant update in the near future, most likely within 4-5 to five days from now, that's going to make our lives as Dokkan players a lot easier, which obviously is always a good thing. So without further ado, let's check out the details for the upcoming update 4.12.0 together. And the first feature we'll be getting is it says here optimized the information displayed while collecting key spheres in battle you will be able to check the number of key that can be obtained while confirming the route and what that means is that when you're in an event you're facing an enemy you can hold on to a certain key sphere on the field and before letting go it'll show you the exact path that the orb's going to take as well as exactly how many key spheres you're getting from that path with a little number at the top. So in this example, if you're holding on to the rainbow key sphere, it lights up the path and there's a little plus eight at the top to tell you they're gonna be getting eight key spheres from that path. And at the same time, the little key wheel around your unit here will display exactly how much key your unit's gonna be getting from those orbs. So for example, if these were AGL key spheres as opposed to Fizz, then the wheel would reflect the additional key gained from same type e spheres. Okay, so overall, just a super useful feature. It's gonna save us a lot of time because we don't have to, you know, count the exact number of orbs we're gonna be getting with each option. And also, we don't have to calculate how much key our units are gonna be getting from those orbs. And I did a little test in game, and it does seem to also reflect the uh, additional key gained from passives, right? So. For the LR Super Saiyan 4s, we get a ton of key from same type key spheres, or other units that get more key from rainbow key spheres, and so on and so forth. The key wheel will also reflect that. So, just a really awesome quality of life update that, like I said, is gonna make our lives a lot easier. So, that's the first feature we're getting from uh, 4.12.0. And the other feature we'll be getting is optimized the character page. Characters who cannot be added to teams such as Hercule statues and Kai's will no longer take up character slots. So that is huge because I know there's a lot of people out there, myself included, that have a ton of Hercule statues, actually not statues, but a ton of Kai's just sitting in our boxes, taking up like hundreds and hundreds of slots that could be used for you know, other usable characters. And now those guys will no longer take up any space. So for a ton of people, you'll instantly have, you know, a couple tens or hundreds of slots open up right after this update hits. And also, in addition, the character page will be separated into uh, two sections, can be added to teams and can't add to teams, which makes it easier to browse the list. And that's exactly what it sounds like. So after the update drops, uh, when you go into your character page, there's going to be two different tabs. The first one is for, you know, can be added to teams, which is just your regular units like your LRs and, you know, Dokkan FS units and so on and so forth. And then the other tab is for your can't be added to units like your uh, Kai's, Grand Kai's, Sleepy Kai's, uh, Hercule statues and all that stuff, right? And one more quick little note at the bottom here is uh, after the update, characters who cannot be added to teams will be removed from the list of favorite characters if they have been added to favorite. So there you go, these are the two features that are previewed in this news release for update 4.12.0. But wait, there's more. Since we have JP as a reference for uh, what to expect on global, we actually know that this update will bring with it a few more things. All right, so let me pop over to the uh, browser view here. There we go. So this was the news release that came out on JP after version 4.12.0 was uh, officially implemented. And as you can see, there's the new orb UI update as well as the new character page with the different tabs, the usable characters, non-usable characters. But on top of that, there was also a minor update to Extreme Z areas where if uh, you didn't satisfy the conditions to unlock a certain Extreme Z area event, you could click on it and it would show you a page where all the events you had to clear first were available. You can click on it to go to that event, clear that event to eventually unlock the Extreme Z area event. And while this is not like a huge change by any means, I can definitely see it being 
very beneficial to newer players because usually when new Extreme Z areas come out, I would constantly get questions from people asking me why they couldn't access the new event, right? So this is definitely going to help with that. And uh, from there, we also got a little preview for a new type of skill orb called EX Skill Orbs. And it says here, unlike existing skill balls or skill orbs, EX skill balls are special skill balls that do not disappear when replaced. EX skill orbs will appear in the game in the future. Now at this point in time, I'm pretty sure JP still doesn't have them, and we still don't know exactly how they're gonna be obtainable, but uh, as the you know explanation says, they're gonna be like regular skill orbs with some kind of an effect, but they're gonna have an infinity symbol. So even if you replace them with a different skill orb, they won't be destroyed. They'll probably just go back into your box to be used on a different unit. And if you want to replace it again, then you still get to keep it to be put on another unit. And you can just repeat that process over and over again infinitely, right? Now, I'm assuming that these uh, infinite skill orbs or EX skill orbs are gonna be pretty rare, but like I said, we don't know how to get them right now. So it remains to be seen how many we can actually get but that is definitely a new item that's going to be coming to jp as well as global at some point in the future and uh, a couple other notes here uh, please note that if you place or replace a normal skill orb with an ex skill orb the normal skill orb will disappear but obviously if you're replacing an ex skill orb with a regular skill orb or another ex skill orb then you still get to keep that ex skill orb and uh, also, number five, we have the adjustment of special moves for some characters. And apparently, this is the Super Saiyan Gotenks, uh, the Super Saiyan form of the Int Gotenks from the Dual Dokkan Fest, right? Now, honestly, I'm not really sure what kind of adjustments they made to his animations, but since we're getting the Gotenks later, they probably already made the uh, changes. And number six is just other bug fixes. So. There you go guys, that is everything we can expect to get from the upcoming version 4.12.0 on Global. Uh, the big ones of course are this new UI update as well as the character page, but uh, the other ones here, especially the EX skill orb, is also pretty freaking exciting. I'm just interested to see like how we can actually get them, is it going to be limited to only a few, or are they going to be added to the treasure chest pool in the Baba shop just with super low drop rates we'll have to see anyways once again that is the video guys thank you so much for watching hope you're excited for update 4.12.0 like i said probably dropping in like four to five days at most and uh as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.